we're going to be playing some more Paladins. We're going to be playing against Victor, because I haven't really played with him much as since the reskin, so I'm pretty excited to be playing with him, seeing what he looks like and everything like that in the actual gameplay view. We're also going to be playing with a Ying, a Zen, a Makoa, and a Khan, so I'm hoping this goes better. Um... I've had a couple of Siege games that haven't gone the way I wanted them to, but now we're hoping that we're actually on point with what we want to do, which is do as much damage as possible. So yeah, I haven't played very much Siege since I've been back on this game. I've been kind of playing Team Deathmatch to kind of get used to the game again, but now that we're used to the game, now that we've been playing for a minute, I want to hop back into the main game mode and I want to be able to, because I want to play ranked for you guys eventually with this game. But I can't do that if I'm playing Team Deathmatch. I've got to get back to the way things work. I've got to see those things and see what's going on. So we picked, well, let's see. Bonus damage. We're going to pick Cardio. This is our build. We went. We focused more on how fast we can aim and our recoil, making our recoil as little as possible and making sure we can bring up our sides faster. We also extended our mag a little bit, gave, gave ourselves uh, 100 more health, and increased our movement speed. So I might change up this build a little bit, but it's what I felt was right. It's what I felt would fit this character, and I've also beefed up my sensitivity, so we're hoping that today we actually have some pretty cool damage going on. So let's see. Who do they have on their team? They've got a Ruckus, and that's it. So I'm trying to figure out if I kind of want to just take the Ruckus out of the game early. I think that it's either Ruckus or Heals that I want to... It's like... I don't know. I think I'm going to go with Cauterize just because... To cut down his healings, also to cut down his shields in a way. So I feel like that's how it goes. But if I'm doing that wrong, you guys should totally tell me in the comment sections. Because I love to hear from people that have been playing the game a little bit longer than me. First blood. Okay, guys, our aim is absolutely atrocious right now. I feel there's been, since coming back to this game, my sensitivities have felt really weird. Right now, we're going to drop them down to 30, and hopefully we can still do some stuff. We'll work our way up by then, but you guys will see every time. I'll be telling you guys what works for me, so you guys know exactly what works. So if you guys are struggling at any point in time, or you guys are new to Paladins, you guys can get used to the game just like I am. Should have bought Wrecker because right now we're getting absolutely like hammered because we can't DPS him fast enough. Being the main DPS, we probably should have taken him down. But right now we're going to try to end him here. Nope, he popped his shield and now we regret not buying Wrecker once again. We took him out the game. Here comes Pip. Going to try to get this pick yet. Yeah, nope. Khan got that, but nice. Putting in damage on their fucking Saris back there. Drogo's is up top. I'm being hammered by something. I'm pretty sure it was just Drogo's is like multiple rocket ability. We're going to put in some work on this. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you DPS. Oh, I think he got away from me. He's one shot. Thank you, Khan. Damage on the Saris. Damage on the Saris. There we go. That's how you eliminate characters. A lot of people say that Victor is kind of the most OP character, and I admit him having iron sights is crazy. And the fact that it like allows you to do a lot more than the other characters, but she, he and Vivian are some of my favorite characters. And I don't know, man. I just have a lot of fun using these characters. I feel like I can control everything I want with them. I actually got myself out of a really sticky situation because I got flanked right there, hardcore. But he couldn't finish me off. I'm trying to figure out where everybody is so I can do the DPS, but I'm once again in a sticky situation. So, we're going to rotate around here. Dang, man, that Drogo's is lighting me up. Putting a lot of damage. Okay, here we go, here we go. Getting our revenge on Drogo's up top. I was really, I thought he was going to ult right there. Oh, Pip's behind us. That's not okay. Pip, you're gone. You're done. Sorry. But it's over. That's five in a row. Okay. Oh, Strix in the back. I wasn't paying attention. Well, that was a really weird animation considering he stayed aimed in the whole time. Okay, so we picked up Carterize. 
we're gonna try to hit some morale boost and haven so we can survive with a couple more of those bullets we'll see what goes on here i'm still not really sure what the loadouts are that i want to use but i'm pretty positive that i'm picking good ones right now we're gonna go try to get back into the fight okay oh somebody got launched off the map strix is down way to go con trying to take out the pip cutting down heels that's what i'm talking about let's see if we can't oh no i popped my ult at the wrong second i was hoping we would be able to dps in time i don't think i got any more money oh did i not pick up life rip originally is that not something i picked up earlier i think i'm gonna go ahead and pick up or do i want kill to heal i don't know if i want life rip or yeah, because 10% life steal is really not that much. I mean, if the life, if there was like Tyra where she's already got 30% and then you can boost it to 10%, that might be worth it. But I really feel like getting the eliminations to heal is better. Plus, I'm not really hungry for life steal considering that I've already got the hustle and I heal. Like, I'm look, I'm healing right now and all I'm doing is running around spawn, like for real. Oh man. Well, at least with Hustle, it's like a non-cooldown ability, and I can just run up and do the damage I need to do and be straight. You know what I mean? Uh, hopefully, somebody picks up that pip. I'm not going to push for that. I'm going to try to stay back here behind the shields, put damage down, and stay alive for the most part. I'm taking damage from behind. Yeah, there was a Drogo's right there. Uh, I'm stuck in a bad area, yeah. I think I need to put it up a couple, maybe like play at 35 because there's moments where I need like small movements to get things back. Yeah, let's w wait and team up, group up. Grouping up is like the best part of this. Like, I don't know. It's I'm glad that kid was aware because if, if he didn't see, I probably would have just pushed and not realized that that's what we should have done. But a lot of people don't do that, so it's really cool to see somebody do that. Okay, just trying to, like I said, put DPS down. Yeah, we lost the point because of it, but I have no doubt in my mind that we'll be able to defend against it. Mostly because with the Carterize, we're cutting down a lot of heals for him. It's just, we need to make sure, because Saris is such a quality healer. Like, probably one of my favorite healers as well. Like, just in general. Pip's coming in, and we're going to try to melt him. We got him. We got him, boys. We did it. Okay, let's go help out our boy Zen over here. Or is he not pushing that anymore? Okay. Drogos is right here. Dang, did he hit me with all those? I did not think that I, that he was going to be that accurate, to be honest. That's my bad. You can never underestimate opponents in video games, man. I know I'm not that accurate with Drogos, though, to be honest. Dude, I keep hopping off my horse because I'm immediately trying to sprint out of spawn. And I forget that I already have the horse. So it's like, why? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, no. Strix, man. He has been the most annoying guy today. I think that was like yeah that was my fourth time dying dude i did it again and i've already like shouted it out this game that i've been doing it. i don't know why i keep doing it push up behind our boys over here and try to help out with some dps get that strix man i want my revenge Thirty seconds remaining he keeps peeking these corners. It's cool. It's cool. I'm down. Okay. Cheeky kill. Okay. He's behind us now. He's behind us now. Come on. Help me with this. Help me with this. Never mind. I got it. I'll warrior that myself. Yo. Out of nowhere. I did not expect him to be right there. That was crazy. Three. Two. Okay, Zen came charging in. I'm going to try to get this kill in the back right there. 
I don't know if I'll be able to kill this Drogo's if he's still in the air. That's what I'm talking about. Like I said, guys, I had no doubt in my mind that we'd be able to successfully do that. We just kind of didn't mix up right, and that's how we didn't get the first point. But that's no worries, bro. That's no worries. I really like this character Zen too. I haven't used Androxus since coming back to this game, but like I was a hardcore Androxus man. I think that I had like 21 masteries in in um, Androxus. So eventually, I should make another gameplay with him. I want to see how he did did things, but like, <coughs> sorry. When I tell you guys it's been a minute since I played him, it's literally been since before he got the uh, the punch. Like I haven't played him since he got the punch, so that's pretty crazy. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. We got on the bad side of Ruckus right here. You know what I just noticed? We haven't used our nades like all game. And I'm like, those are abilities too that we can use. And we just haven't been using them. It's like, oh, snap. Drogos came behind and really messed with us right there. I got him though. Don't worry, team. Come on, DPS this guy. Aw, uh, man, I didn't get my nade. Oh, he came back towards us. Yes, he's got... No, see, that's why Ruckus needs a help. He needs help, man. He needs help. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I accidentally kill sniped that. Yo. Oh, no. Pip's got me. That's what I'm talking about. Easy dub there, guys. We're going to say what our stats are, but... That was really fun. I uh, generally feel like I should be playing with Victor quite a bit. I'm, I'm kind of testing out the waters. I want to pick at least two characters from like each category so I could see how the Khan coming in with the play of the game. This is nice. Yeah, I saw that, dude. That was crazy. The fact that he could just completely throw people off the map like that. But like, I, w I don't think... Can he grab multiple people? I don't know. I got to figure that out. But... I'm pretty excited about this. I want to pick a couple characters from each and kind of make those my main. So I don't know. Right now, I really like Vivian and I really like I really like Victor right now. But those are like I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna get a little bit of hate from those because those characters are like DPS characters that are like kind of easy to play. And so I don't know. But right now, coming back into the game as a fresh player, as a player that hasn't played for a while, and is not really confident in his accuracy right now with hit scan characters. That's absolutely awesome to me. 55k damage. So, I don't think we got most damage. No, the other team got most damage. Who who, who had the 84k? Oh, it was Drogo's. Yeah, but when you've got the ball of spit that you can just blow up and hit, like, everybody for 1,000 damage, that's kind of a given. So, there's that. So, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.